Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Battle Arena plugin. Now this is an awesome set of mini games which allows you to create different competitions in your server which we're going to show you today. And there's also loads of add-ons like Spleef, Hunger Games, Football, you name it. You can add it onto this plugin and create tons of different fun mini games. So we're going to get started with the standard type of arena. These are really easy to set up. So if we do forward slash arena that's going to show us the main commands. And I've got a little area here which is going to be our arena. Now we need to go to our first spawn point as that's set when we create the arena. If we do forward slash arena create followed by a name such as my arena, what it's going to do is create a brand new standard arena, team size of 1, number of teams 2 and spawns 1. All we need to do is set the other spawn to so go over to the other area you want the spawn point to be and do forward slash arena alter the arena name and then 2. Now that is going to set both spawn points for the arena and it's literally as simple as that. The arena has been set up, players could join now and battle it out. So that's how easy it is to create a standard arena. Obviously if you do full slash arena list it will show you uh, all the other arenas that you've created. And if you do arena info and then the arena name it will give you information about it um, as you can see here. So that is the standard type of arena, there is another type called Battlegrounds. Now this is where up to four teams will fight against each other, which is why I've got four spawn points. And the way we do this is forward slash bg create and a name, so exactly the same commands, but instead of forward slash arena, it's forward slash bg. Then we can do forward slash bg alter, test, and then two. And then for the other two spawns we'll do three, and then obviously four for the fourth spawn. And as you can see here, there's four different teams. Now you can do four slash BG list to list all of the arenas for Battleground, as you can see in chat. Um, so they're kind of segregated into different sections. And then finally, we've got free for all. So if we do four slash FFA create, and then let's call this one just one, it's going to create our free for all arena. Then we can set a couple more spawn points. So FFA alter one, and then let's put two for the second spawn. And we can repeat the command for spawn point three. And there we go, we've set three arenas up. So I've got my other account on now, and if we do forward slash arena join and then the arena name, it is going to put us in the queue, and it's going to start in six seconds as it is two of two, it's full. And there we go, we've been teleported to both the spawn points we set, we've got various items which we can edit in the config file, and then just like a normal arena or battle, we can just start hitting each other and battle ourselves until one of us is victorious. So obviously my other account is not going to move and I'm just going to whack away at him. You can see on the right there is a scoreboard as well which is very nice. And if I hit him once more we are going to win the game. You can see it says 5 seconds until match ends. We're going to be teleported back to where we were and that is how easy it is. Finally we've got the signs. So if we want to create a sign it's very straightforward. All you need to do is pop down the sign. In the top line you need to put brackets either arena, bg, ffa, whatever it is. Second line is going to be join. And the third line is going to be the arena name, so this can be for arena test. And if we want to make a leave sign, it's exactly the same, so either brackets, BG, or arena, leave on the second line, and the arena on the third line. And then we can obviously right click these to join or leave. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and as you can see, there's quite a few folders and YML files. The main two we want to concentrate on are the config.yml and the classes.yml. So if we jump into the config first of all, you can see we're on version 2.4.0. Uh, we've got auto update, announce update, and if we scroll down a little bit, we've got a few things that we can enable disable, so we can set commands which we want to be disabled, so home, spawn, warp, etc. We don't want people teleporting away when they're in an arena. Scroll down, we've got use sign permissions, do you need permission in order to use those leave signs we created? And then if we scroll down a little bit more, we've got various options such as user scoreboard, coloured names, various amounts of time before a match starts or a match ends, etc. So you can obviously change all of this if you really want to. Next, if we go into the classes.yml, this is where we're going to be able to edit the classes and items that we use in game. So we can see we were using the gladiator class, so we had a diamond sword, bow, we had full diamond armor and a couple of potions. And we also had the enchantment effects of speed and resistance. Now you can see there's a couple of others by default, there's an archer class and a monk. Um, so if you want to create a new one, the simplest thing to do is literally just copy and paste a pre-existing one. 
give it a new name and then you can edit the various items and display name um, down here as well. So here we are on the Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.7 to 1.15. I'm using the current version of Minecraft, so 1.16.4 and it's working absolutely fine on there. If we scroll down we've got um, a wiki, we've got permissions and then these are the default competitions. So we showed you Arena, Battlegrounds and FFA. There's a couple of others, there's Colosseum and Deathmatch and Skirmish, so you could have those as well. Scroll down even more and what we've got is the extension. So these are the add-ons that I briefly mentioned earlier. So we've got uh, Bomb Arena, Hostage, Survival, uh, Football, One in the Chamber, Paintball, Capture the Flag. So there's a ton of different mini games. So if you want to just download any of these. So if you want to download the plugin, head over to the Spigot page. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.